Hi everyone, I am Brittany the Cosmic Lunar Soul. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to all of my subscribers. And I have April's Witch's Moon box ready to be unboxed. If you don't know what the Witch's Moon is, it's just a monthly witchy subscription box. This is the middle tier. I will put all of the information in the description below. And let's go ahead and crack her open. Here is our Oracle card. Let's see what we have. Oh, your body's power. It says your body is yours. Celebrate your temple. Nice card. Not quite my style, but I do like the backs of the cards. Here is the information sheet. Let's see what the theme of our box is going to be. It looks like it's going to be like Astera, just from everything here. Oh, this is the Goddess Collection. All right, so if you have never seen an unboxing of this box before, it comes with two pages of information and then just a blank parchment. I'm gonna go ahead, put this off to the side and uh, we can get into the box. Here we have two things of grimoire art. This is really lovely. It looks like it's um, just like a poem or something for the goddess and then here we have the symbols of the goddess so I see some familiar symbols in here um interesting I don't really do goddess work so I feel like I won't enjoy this box as much but you know I can still enjoy the pretty stuff or the smell good stuff all right, this is the Divine Feminine uh, Grimoire Art. This is actually really quite lovely. Um, I feel like this is really unique in that it has really soft edges, really soft color schemes, really a lot of gold and more picture focused and less word focused. Um, and I don't think I've gotten a Grimoire Art like this in a while. Okay, let's see what herbs we have. I think we have two big packs instead of three small packs. We have um, Rose, and then this is called the Empath. This is actually an herbal blend. So why don't I do my Brittany smell test, and I'll be right back. It actually smells really nice. It has, um, let's see, Egyptian chamomile, rosemary, skullcap, and lemon balm. The intentions were created behind this blend specifically to resonate with the ability to bring understanding and empathy to the world around you. Oh, I like that so it suggests you can place this in um, an offering bowl or just and then put it on your altar you can mix it into elixirs mojo bags or just any other sacred vessel that you have around the house I feel like I would try burning it especially with the rosemary to see all right let's see what our oil is all right, I'm gonna get this open and I'll be right back. We have Mystico Rose. This, um, actually I feel like it, I can already smell it. It's not even leaking or anything. It's just, I feel like it's gonna be very fragrant. Let me do my Britney smell test and I'll be right back. Ooh, this is very, very fragrant. It has a very floral scent, but I think that it has a really nice balance between like earthies and florals. Let's see what's in here. So the oils that are in here are rose, amber, yang yang, I never know how to pronounce that, and clove, which is interesting because clove is so overpowering, um, but I don't, it, it isn't in this. So there is a small rose quartz chip in here as well, and then there's a mixture of the Witch's Moon Gentle Essence Magical Oil from their um, personal collection. Okay, I really like this. I think this would be really good um, to mix in with uh, these, just like maybe one drop to mix in if you're burning uh, an oil over a charcoal. You just have to be a little careful and kind of test it out uh, to, to make sure, you know, it doesn't trigger any allergies or anything like that. But you don't have to use a lot. A little bit goes a long way. This is a, a bath salt. This is the gift of mysteries. Okay, let me crack her open and see how she smells. Ooh, this smells really good. So this has um, white tea, rose, and amber oils. 
And then it has blue corn flower, rose, and jasmine herbs in it. It actually smells really, really good. Uh, if you followed me for a while, you know I'm really not into those heavily floral scents, especially rose. Um, but I feel like there's a really nice balance between rose and some of the other stuff where it doesn't smell like just straight up soap, you know? And I actually really like this. Okay, we have our crystal here. This looks like just a piece of clear quartz. Oh no, I think it is a really, really soft rose quartz. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see that. Let me grab, here, let me grab a piece of white paper. You can see the difference there. So you can see that coloring against the, the um, this piece of white paper, but this is a really soft uh, rose quartz, a nice rough um, unpolished piece. This bag has a very like Valentine's Day feel to it. So here is our candle. Get your guesses, comment um, below what color you think this candle is. I'm gonna go with pink. I feel like I should say red because um, I'm not sure if I've seen a pink candle before. Um, but yeah, put your, com your guesses below in the comments and let me get this open. Be right back. All right. Let's see what we have. Oh, it's white. <laughs> white with uh, rose petals. Okay, I was wrong. Um, I like this. I, I like it. Um, I tend not to like when they put herbs onto my candles ahead of time because it's messy. But I do like having a white candle. So I'm going to go ahead and set that here. All right, here is our incense. And of course, it's rose. Let me see how rose smelling it is. I'll be right back. You know what? It smells really good. It does have that soapy tinge to it, but I always say a lot of times it will burn a little differently than it smells in the package because it's so pungent in the package. Um, I think this will be good for like my main living area because it's so open and so big. I feel like this might be too much for a small room unless you really, really like rose, which again, I do not. Okay, let's see what we have. This is a, let's see. This is a hand-carved goddess totem. It's really lightweight. So it is wood, but it's made out of some really, really lightweight wood. Um, I've gotten some like plaques and stuff from them before that are really heavy. And this one simply isn't, but it's meant to stand up. So I feel like my kitty cats would knock this over very easily. Um, so this is supposed to represent the embodiment of the goddess. This totem should be displayed on, on your altar or used as a centerpiece of a new working. The mother of all, or goddess, has been depicted with a thousand different shapes, forms, and identities since the beginning of civilization. She is the true summation of all other goddesses and contains the key to the mysteries. This is interesting. Um, I don't work with goddesses. I will not be putting this on my altar. So if you guys are interested in, um, I might open up a little shop where I do a D stash of the things that I've gotten in the past that I simply am not gonna utilize. So comment below if you want um, to be notified about when I do that. But let me clear up everything um, and we can do our like final walkthrough. All right, here is everything. Um, I really think my favorite thing from this is actually before I choose, before I choose you guys, comment below what is your favorite thing here. I usually say you can't pick the big thing, so anything else. Um, what is your favorite item? I think for me, my favorite is going to be, um, I think this herb packet here actually, cause it smells really good. It, it, a combination of these three things. 
the oil the baths but mainly the herb packet because i'm curious to see how this um smells in combo with this especially in the bath so or or even burning it over my my charcoal so i kind of have some ideas of how i want to use it already so i think i will go with that as being my favorite all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye!